For the Taylor stage, we used all SE microphones on the entire stage. The drum kit was all uh, V7Xs on the toms and the snare, SE8 on hi-hat and overheads, and a VR1 on the kick drum with a uh, guitar RF reflection filter and so right in front of the kick drum with the ribbon mic. It was the easiest setup of drum mics for us that I've ever done on the stage. I did no EQing on the toms or overheads or hi-hats. I just turned it on, I turned it up, and left it alone. The VR1 on the kick drum gave us everything we needed with the one mic, and it's such a weird thing to put a ribbon microphone in front of a kick drum, but it worked fantastic. It was just an amazing sound, plenty of bottom, plenty of snap, plenty of real tone of the kick drum. We used VR2s on the guitar amps, a VR1 on the bass cabinet, V7s on all the vocals. The V7 through the RMP, Rupert Neve preamp, was, it was a great vocal sound for us. To turn it up, EQ just a little bit for the flavor of the, the voice and left it alone. It was amazing. Great sounding mic. And the, the isolation of the V7s and the V7Xs for the snare or for the vocal was great. There wasn't a lot of bleed. The V7X was tight and snappy on the snare without having bleed of the hi-hat. So it was, it was easy to EQ and get a great snare sound without having much bleed of the hi-hat. We had several singers talk to us about it, and I believe that some of the singers actually went to the booth and talked to you guys about getting some of those mics for themselves because they really dug the V7. It was amazing.